What is going on guys? Today we're looking at team of the year icon Zanetti. He is 1 million coins. He has gone up a little bit as obviously we're hitting into the late hours. We tend to find some cards do go up because the, the supply is just not there. Demand could be there and as at the minute every team of the year icon we've used have been incredible. So I've got nothing but high hopes for this guy. I do like him more in a midfield role, as we've seen with his moments. He normally ends up in a DM role, same as Petit and Desai. So we will start him at right back and then potentially see how he goes and bring him into the middle. 5'10", high, high, 3-star, 4-star. I think if he got a 4-4, four, four, I'd definitely be going straight into that centre mid. I think he'd be an absolute waste on the right back. But it'll be interesting to see what he can do. He's got 89 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. The defending's very good. Physicals are very good. Dribbling. Agility balance looking okay. Agility be agility a little bit on the lower side, but we've got great composure, great passing, as well as crossing as well. So he could be more of a right wing back, and it'll be interesting to see that. We have got leadership and team player. Obviously, his previous version is a whopping 92 rated right back, and I think the difference between them, we have a four extra on the pace, shooting's irrelevant, two more passing, one dribbling, the same, is it the same defending? The same defending, very shocking, and free on the physical. So let's jump into Zanetti and see what he can do. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this. Then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable, but at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. Let's get straight into that pace then. I'm really interested to see what this card's all about in terms of pace and crossing. Let's give a little bit of a sprint. Okay, he's going. Can Z oh, I was going to say, can Zanetti get his first goal? But no, we're just going to go a nil-nil rage, a nil -nil rage quit. Maybe he goes back instead. Probably the first time I've ever seen a draft somebody actually give me the goal. Wow, fair enough. Zanetti finding the ball straight away. Good pass into Madison. Making that blast through if he can. Over the top. It's a great little ball. Can Zanetti find somebody? Capdevia coming back. You know what? I've seen this a few times now. Can I get it past Ronaldinho? I shouldn't have bought him for the corner, but... Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> can we find him? There's a Hullet sitting there. Can we find Hullet? Could sit back in. Zanetti on back post, maybe? Zanetti looking at Messi. He's going to watch that ball. He's come across. This guy knows his left stick, but very responsive from Zanetti, I must admit. Just trying to mark the space. Messi's got in, and a great challenge from Zanetti. Very, very nice. Really nice on that jockeying, which is exactly what you want from your right back as we try and find an overlap if we can. Going to go far wide. Nobody in the box, and it's exactly what we need. We're going to loft one in. That's a solid ball and a great save from Testegen. And I think that's where he could have some play, obviously, in terms of uh, being an actual right wing back. He's got the option there. I just think centre mid is more than likely a better role to go for. That was a close shot. Zanetti watching the run. We've got a bit of pace movement from him. He knows not to go down there, which is nice. We're going to see it across. Okocha is going to cut inside. Nice turn. And again. Ooh, that's a cracking ball. Zanetti's got to come across here. Oh, he's going to cut it back. Oh, and he's done it again. But he's missed. Wow. Okay, if I've ever been given a lifeline, that is the case. And I'm just going to give it him back. Into Zanetti again. Looking for what he can find. The dribbling, I must admit, all of the team of the year icons so far, dribbling has actually been really impressive. Very responsive on that left foot. I don't know if it's just because they're new cards and maybe you're, you're looking for a little bit more. But in general, I feel like left backs, right backs, right mid, left mids, whatever we've got from them so far, they've done really, really nicely on the upgrades and made some of the... Not necessarily more desirable icons, because obviously you look at Perez, and he's a he's an okay icon, but he's most definitely not on your top want list. But most definitely, very more appealing now, now we've had that big upgrade throughout. Again, looking for the play if we can. He's going to stride his run, look back for it. It's nice. Can we find something here? Finds the pass in. It's a great ball into Richarlison, and his hullet is going to do the rest. 
Zanetti chasing Messi down and gets the tackle. And there is no way that was a free kick in any light of day. But in general, I think as well, the, the big point with right wing backs and personally how I play. And I could imagine a lot are the same in some aspects. It's a great ball. But I don't tend to use really a right back to overlap too much. too much, And I think that is where personally... I would much rather him be in centre mid if he's got a little bit about him. Just purely for the fact that if, if I keep going with the overlaps in the right back role, you know you're always having that position just left uncovered. And that for me just doesn't sit right. Now let's have a look at him in centre mid. I feel like he could definitely do a job there. Just purely for the fact that he has got a bit of ability. Oh, and that's going to be the first... Oh, imagine the first moment he goes in centre mid, he makes a dying run forward. But the big thing I would say is you've definitely got to have him more on the defensive. I know that clearly goes against the grain there, but literally a moment of, of madness does manage to, to kind of unfold its way through. And maybe, just maybe he gets a goal, but very, very unlikely with what his 66 shooting. That is the role I wanted him there. Exactly pinpoint in that uh, interception mode. That is what I want from him. I don't need him attacking too much. I want him in that defense, holding off this, cutting the lines, and that is absolutely perfect. In terms of a center mid, this is the role. Absolutely domination. And that's normally what I find from his CDM moments version. Good pace from him. Looking for the one, two, if we can find a bit. Ooh, this guy's eye, and that, that's what I do. Beautiful. I think he's had three interceptions in literally a matter of about 10 minutes so far. Zanetti seen it out with a little burst of pace. Need to slow it down to be able to find it. So far doing very well on that. We also know he can kind of come a little bit more on the mid roll because obviously he can obviously have that crossing still so if you find yourself in a little bit of a sticky situation going down the wing with him he still has that ability to be able to cross as well so it's kind of like a a best of both with him i would say more center mid and then kind of just hold him off but like i say if he does find his way forward it's not the end of the world with him good out from zanetti Basic skills sometimes works out really nicely. Nice out. Find it wide for Zanetti. Little pass again. Find the gap. No. Good little responsive turn. Little roulette going into it. Took it a bit too much there. So going into Zanetti then. He's coming in at 982. Let's just double check what he's actually coming in at. Maddie is actually selling at 1.1. So... Either somebody said something because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if you look down here, he's he's way cheaper. Coming in 8 o'clock, you've got 800. So pretty much if you bought him at 800, you're making a 200k profit without tax, obviously. You've got to work that one out. What is everybody else like? That's the question because we've got Perlo at 760. He's not really gone up or down. Perez is about the same. I think Vidic is about the same. Hullet dropped from 14 mil to 6.5. Could imagine that was going to happen. And Beckham's holding his price at 2.5. So there's obviously something in, obviously, uh, Zanetti. And between the two of them, obviously, because we don't get to be able to just have the other icons yet. In terms of the difference between his prime and, obviously, his um, team of the year icon. If we went for, I believe you'd go anchor, I would say, for him. And I think you'd probably go anchor as well for this one. Even though the pace is a little bit less, you'd probably want to go more towards the shadow if you wanted the, the maximum amount of pace. You are looking at, what, 94, 96, 89 to 90, 95, 87. It's, it's minimal upgrades, but it most definitely will work a lot of the time. He has had a skill move upgrade. I didn't realize he was only two star. So it does mean that he is slightly better as a center mid compared to what is prime. And normally, that's what I would suggest with Zanetti. The, the, the center mid role was way better. The interceptions are absolute class. He has the defending already. Can cross it if you get into that position. As obviously with a right wing back, unless you're in maybe a five back formation... I don't personally like pushing them up too much. And if you want a five back, it kind of needs to be a little bit better on the shooting as well, just in case you get into their moments. We saw straight away 
once he got into that role, you know he's not going to score it. There's very tap-ins and, and maybe headers that he would score. Everything else is going to be very, very lucky to get in. So obviously with the anchor on him, does keep him in the controlled aspect. And I think in terms of stats, looks really nice. Turns himself into a 95 right back or a 94 CDM. So obviously that's something to look at as well. Would I say he's worth a mil in either of them positions? With the right back, if we look at that first, personally, I think there's better right backs. We've got Hakimi Takum, who normally comes out quite cheap eventually. We already have Alberto and Carfu pretty much under the price at the minute. We then have, if we go a bit further down, we go to, I'd say, a Walker under the price would say he's better. Then you go Zambrotta, better, Delot, arguably the same. But that, for me, would be where I'd kind of draw the line in terms of right back. I would much rather go for somebody else and go for more of a CDM role with him. If we look at the price between them, anybody worth a million coins, you've obviously got a Vieira, Bay, no, that's mid, mid Vieira, Zidane more of a cam anyway, we've got Marquisio coming in just above him, then you've got Matthias below him as well, and this has got to take into consideration that he will drop as well, there's no way he stays a million coins for the rest of time, he will continue to drop, Perlo, again, not necessarily defensive, but box to box wise is fantastic, same as Renato Sanchez, even Yaya Torre. So he's a hard one to fit in. I feel like he's a nice card and it's a great upgrade from his prime, but most definitely not the best in the positions. We looked at Perez, we looked at Beckham, and they definitely contest with the better players in them roles. Whereas I think Zanetti's just fallen short, and I think that's why he's kind of in that lower bracket of these Team of the Year icon upgrades. Overall-wise, I'd give him a solid... 8.8. .8. I feel he's close to 9, but I maybe would have wanted that 4-star, four 4-star, four star, being greedy, but to put him in that center mid role, I think that would have given him that little bit more of the edge. So if you did enjoy the video, let me know down below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.